26 minors were nabbed by authorities in what they call Orange County's most notorious gang neighborhoods. 210 officers from 24 law enforcement agencies, including the Garden Grove Police Department, joined Thursday night to hopefully wake teens and their parents up to the harsh realities of gang life. This man in handcuffs is no man at all. He's a 14-year-old middle school student officers caught after curfew in a gang-infested neighborhood. Along with pot, the boy was carrying a knife. His mother can only sit in stunned silence as authorities fill her in on her son's gang associations. He's going to end up getting jumped by the gangsters for having the marijuana on him. Lo van a saltar, He's okay. going to end up spending his life in prison. Most, most kids cárcel. that are doing drugs by 14, okay. all the studies el, el, say they go to prison before años, they're 20. Va. The woman says she tries to keep tabs on her son, but she's come to realize that it hasn't amounted to much. This is the very sort of wake-up call Orange County law enforcement wants parents of at-risk teens to have. He's lying to you about where he went tonight. He's lying to you about who he's hanging out with. He's lying to you about why he has a weapon on him. I think tonight is to get some kids, get their attention, get their parents' attention who may not be providing the appropriate supervision. Thursday's curfew sweep and intervention is one of a couple unannounced events held every year by the Gang Reduction Intervention Partnership, or GRIP program. The curfew for minors in most Orange County cities is 10 p.m., and that's for a good reason. When kids are out past curfew, they are very much at risk of being victims of a crime or actually getting involved in criminal activity. The teens here were picked up in known gang neighborhoods and some were found with drugs and weapons. After her mother arrived, this young girl admitted through tears she was out late having sex with a boy she barely knew. It's tough, but the district attorney's office says their results are worth the trouble. We have the um, communication to the community, we have the education, and we've seen it work. We've seen tremendous results, and when we did this last year, we did not see many repeat offenders. Early Friday morning, the kids are released to their parents who must watch an anti-gang documentary. The mother of the 14-year-old middle school boy will be taking a parenting class, and officers will be keeping tabs on her son. Most older teens in the situation aren't afforded the warning he received, and authorities hope the consequences will finally hit home. If we can reduce the number of kids that are making the wrong choices and going into gangs, uh, if we can just get one kid, uh, we're going to get more than that, but it, it's worth it just for that one kid.